everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the Droid Goblin. Today I'll be looking at Exposed Framework and how to install it onto your device which is running Lollipop. Yes, that's right. So if you'd like to know more, let us begin. Rovo89. To some it might just be another username on the internet, but for others you might know him as the guy behind the legendary, now I can literally change anything on my phone Exposed Framework. And now it's available on Android Lollipop. In this video, I'll show you how to install the alpha version of Exposed Framework onto your device. So let's get started. Oh, and don't worry, everything's provided in the links below, so you definitely want to go check out the description first. So before I do anything, let me quote Robo89 himself. Please install it only if you're willing to take the risk of boot loops. Just because it's working fine and stable for me doesn't mean it'll work for everyone else the same way. So yeah, if you're willing to take the risk, let us begin. Step 1. Check your device. Is your device rooted? Good. If you have no idea what I just said, head on over to XDA and do some research first. Is your device ARMv7 or higher? If yes, good. If you're not sure, install Android Terminal Emulator app that's available on the Google Play Store and open it. Then type in the following. This will then tell you what version of ARM you're running. So as long as it's v7 or higher, you should be good to go. Step 2. Download and install. Next up you'll need to download the actual files, one of which is a zip file, the other is an APK. Once you've got them on your phone, reboot your phone into recovery. I'm using TeamWin here so yours might look slightly different, but simply look for an install option, select your zip file that you've downloaded, where I'll then swipe here to install it. Then reboot. Step 3. Installing Exposed and SE Linux. Once your phone has hopefully rebooted, select the APK file that you've downloaded and then install it. Remember that if your device says you can't install it, you'll first need to select the trust unknown devices in your device settings. You'll also need to install SE Linux mode changer from the Google Play Store and set the mode to permissive and not enforcing as shown here. Your phone should let you know that this has happened with a little pop-up notification. Step 4. Rebooting into Exposed. Next. Open Exposed and tap on Framework, and then tap on the Soft Reboot option. Rebooting in any way will not work. This is very important. So please don't try to reboot in any other way than this method. Remember that. Step 5. Boom shakalaka. So hopefully now if you've followed the steps correctly, all the modules should now appear. So now I can change my ringer options and turn on airplane mode via my power menu, and I can play my YouTube tracks in the background. So yeah. Great, so thanks very much guys for watching this video. I'd love to hear your comments on the exposed framework in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the Droid Goblin channel as more videos are coming in the coming weeks ahead. Other than that, it's Marco here from the Droid Goblin. I'll see you guys next video.